what other finance books would you recommend? Yeah, it's hard, man. It's hard because like one of the reasons I teach and I teach business, uh, finance, etc., uh, is because I found that a lot of the stuff that's taught in MBA schools is just irrelevant, theoretical, and out of date. And so there really aren't that many great books out there. But there's one I'll tell you about, one author. So whenever I go into someone's office that's more successful than me, which is every meeting ever, what I do is I always look at their bookshelf. And whatever books they have in their bookshelf, on the elevator ride down, I order all those books. And so um, there's a guy I, I worked for, um, or indirectly for, when I worked at Citadel. Uh, his name is Ken Griffin. Uh, he's the brilliant founder. Uh, I think he's going to be the wealthiest man in the world one day. Yeah, yeah. Amazing company. But I spent some time with uh, with uh, with Ken in his office one day. It was just half hour. He and I were talking. The guy's amazing. Um, and I looked over at his bookshelf. And he had a book on finance by an NYU professor called Damodorian. And so that's the only professor and the only textbook, so to speak, that you should ever even think about uh, getting. Uh, so, so I would check that one out. Yeah. Another one you can check out um, if you want to is called Financial Shenanigans, um, which is written by Howard Schillett, uh, who founded the CIFRA, um, which is a forensic accounting institute. Uh, and I used to pay him for his services, and he helped me out a lot with, with, with short sales uh, when I was in the hedge fund industry. So that's called uh, Financial Shenanigans. It'll help you look for patterns in data when it comes to financial statements to find out if fraud is occurring, for example, uh, or, or if, you know, find out if, if the company might have issues coming up soon. Like if revenue and earnings were great, but deferred revenue went down a lot on the balance sheet, that means they drained the pipeline, et cetera, that, that sort of thing. Aside from that, I can't really think of anything else. I mean, you can you can check out The Intelligent Investor if you want to. Uh, it, it's a little bit dry, uh, but it's brilliant. Um, and and that's, why, that's why Buffett went to Columbia because uh, the dude that wrote that book was a professor there. And Buffett actually came and guest lectured in my class when I was at Columbia. Uh, years ago, doing my MBA. Uh, and his wife was there, and God bless her, she passed away. Um, but she was teasing him when he was guest lecturing. She was teasing him because on their honeymoon, Warren Buffett brought one book, which was The Intelligent Investor. And whatever book it is that you want to bring on your honeymoon, if you can only bring one book, then that is what your career should be. 